All right, how's it going? I was working on this project here and I have to implement CMS filter attributes by FinSuite and I thought I'd just take a quick video to show you how to do that real fast. Hey there, Webbay. Right here in Webflow, if you watched my recent video on CMS Nest, I showed you how to set up with CMS Nest FinSuite attribute system. Now we're gonna implement FinSuite filter. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna head to the documentation. So we got CMS filter here. Step one, copy the script, boom, we got it. Come into our page settings, and we're just gonna drop that right here in the head, right under our CMS nest script. So I'll save that, come back to the documentation, and head to step two. Now, let me zoom in. I want to filter the content of this collection list or collection wrapper. So we're gonna copy this attribute here, and it gets a value of list, I think I can remember that. And this is the list that we wanna filter, so it's this one here in the navigator. The only other list that I have on the page is down at the bottom. That's where all my categories are, and we're going to filter by categories for this. Anyways, we're on collection list. Let's hit the gear icon, come down, and oh, I already got it there, but let me delete it. And this is where we would add it. Just FS CMS filter element to list. And click out of there so it saves. All right, let's move on to step two. I want this form block to have filter UI elements. So I've already got the form block on the page. All I'm gonna do is copy this and come back to Webflow. And you can put it on the form block or the form. I'm gonna do form block here and zoom in because I know how to do that. And I think this is filters, but let's check before we get out of there. Yep, filters. Okay, so that's in there now. We're locked in on step two, I believe. Yep, now we gotta lock in on step three. So this is the field identifier. When I interact with this filter UI, I want the to filter CMS items with this text block, heading, paragraph, or text link. Now this is where we're going to throw it on our categories. So let's copy this uh, ch ch name up here and the identifier we're gonna give it is categories. So we want it on this tag down here. The tag is gonna be what contains the text of the item we want. So it'll be any text like physics and mathematics, chemistry and material science, blah, 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 blah. And here's our custom attribute. So we're gonna drop it in there and we'll call this category and click out. All right, so we have gone through steps. Well, step two, and now we actually want to make it so that we have a search bar that we can type in and stuff dynamically populates based on the search field. So I wanna do search field, which is the first one here. And I have 97 categories. So putting all those on the page just uh, that might be a little bit overwhelming to our user and on mobile, it's just gonna be a bunch of categories. Anyways, so this is what I'm gonna copy and put on the input search box. And the value of identifier is gonna be the same that I put on these values down here. So I put the value of category on it. So let's go back up to the top of our page. We'll select this input field and I'm gonna add a custom attribute down here, paste that value and it was category. You should copy and paste these just so you don't screw it up. Anyways, I think that's it. So let's save and publish. And we open the site. And let's try finance. Am I getting all finance? Aviation? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's working. Look at that. We got filtering right out of the box. Awesome. Thank you, FinSuite, for providing this. Science, you know, we can, oh, I misspelled it. Uh, so yeah, so now we're filtering. There's 20 items in there. It's filtering through them. The next step I'm gonna show you is how to implement autocomplete so we can suggest search for our users. Since there's so many categories, I think that makes sense as the next thing to do. Anyways, but now we've got this set up. You saw how to implement CMS Nest and CMS Filters super fast. If that helps, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.